Welcome to the Seho booth here at Productronica. Uh, delighted to be joined by Dr. Ronnie Horn, who's the international sales manager. Uh, welcome, Ronnie. Welcome to the booth. Okay, thank nice you. to have you here. Yes. Now, excited to see a, a, a new upgrade to the line, the select line, selective soldering line. Um, tell me about some of the special features. Let's walk through it from the, from the, the beginning. Yeah. We start, let's say, with some uh, working place for assembly. Uh, followed by a uh, lifting station yep. on two stages, which is uh, helping to get the frames back from the return conveyor and also help the uh, pick and place, the assembly worker, to get his work into the machine with a control from the top that uh, the assembly work is fine. Right. Um, then we go into the selective soldering machine. Uh, this type now is foreseen for a format of 508 millimeters square, mm -hmm. it's 20 inches, so we call it select line 20. Yeah. There is one fluxing area for the whole working area with fiducial control, with a second uh, fluxing head if necessary for a multiple panel, with up to three solder nozzles on a uh, fluxing head for uh, fluxing a dual lane of a uh, connector, so fluxing control checking if the fluxor is working, if the drops come out in the right direction right, so and also a light barrier that can count the single drops and compare this with the golden shot more or less and tell it was too much, it was too little. Really? Okay, so, so, so the way that you check that the fluxor is, is working properly is by counting, counting the drops? No, this is the second stage. The first stage is just a capacitive sensor behind a hole. So mm -hmm. we check the direction and if something gets wet. Yeah, okay. that's the okay. first stage. Good. Now we go to the preheat. Uh, we have here a double preheat station. Mm -hmm. When we are fast with working two pots, so uh, preheat can be the bottleneck. Yeah. And so we work here with a completely closed convection box mm -hmm. supported with infrared, re uh, infrared quartz uh, heaters from the bottom. And the second stage then is uh, quartz from the bottom, infrared from top and a pyrometer looking at the PCB surface on the bottom where the music is playing in order to use this as a check for the gradient in order not to overshoot or we can also use this uh, pyrometer for uh, closed loop control of reaching the desired final temperature for the preheat process. Okay. We also can check if all these heaters are consuming electricity or not. So that means are they are working? Mm -hmm. Are they working when we switch them on or not? And then we finally go to the solder area and there are two pots on a common X and Y axis system mm -hmm. in a certain distance in conveyor direction. These two pots can do two jobs one after the other with different nozzles. They can be equipped with different alloys and if there is a, uh, a PCB which only is being worked at with one type of nozzle and one type of alloy. We can share this job properly. Mm -hmm. Imagine there is 10 solder joints. Yeah. The first PCB comes to the first pot, does the jobs one, two, three, four, five. Then we push on and do both similarly, uh, simultaneously, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push one, two, three, four, five. Push six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push. We call this the synchro mode, and we get the cycle time half plus the moving time from one to the next stage. Okay, so you must be able to, to, to separate these solder pots depending yeah. on the board size so that you can do the syn yeah. synchronous... Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we just stop here and stop there mm -hmm. and the pots are exactly in the distance as the PCBs are yeah. and they're working on two, doing the same job simultaneously. Yes. The one PCB is starting the solder job with one mm -hmm. and the next PCB is starting the solder job, these 10 I mentioned with number six. Mm -hmm. But they are... They are double the speed more or less. Right. And on this plate mm -hmm. there are different stuff, different things. Um, there is a uh, camera for each pot to look at the job. There is a fiducial camera to check the position and realign the coordinate system. And there is also, uh, when we are using these, uh, uh, let's say these uh, wetted nozzles, yeah. I always compare them with the shoe sole. Mm -hmm. Depends how much you run and how fast you get them through. Mm -hmm. But we can take care of them initially at the shift, give them some chemistry, give them some fresh alloy, mm -hmm. and from time to time during the process, we can program that we go to an ultrasonic cleaning unit, mm -hmm. just run there with a the pot, go inside, put the nozzle inside and shake this for 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Dirt comes to the surface, is being washed off. German wheat beer, right. shake the bottle and make the yeast run. 
Same principle, Same good principle. picture. Yeah. So is that, is, that an, is that an automatic process or yeah. is that... Uh, it's automatic, we tell the machine when to do and the machine organizes itself. Okay. Okay. That's fine. And when the soldering finally is done, mm -hmm. now the awarded machine type, brush, mm -hmm. we have already taught the whole system where to brush, yeah. where to solder, now where to brush, mm -hmm. brush it all off with a vacuum cleaner so the, the beads will not settle down somewhere else. We mm -hmm. loosen them, extract them with a vacuum so cleaner vacuum. and then go to the camera station uh, checking is there alloy, no alloy, is the meniscus all around, is there still a wire or not, mm -hmm. is there a, a neighbor SMD being washed off, all this information we can get and from this information... Does it look at the joint quality as well? Uh, yeah. If it's wetted properly, etc. Yeah, yeah, we can look look all around because we have a, a striping light that you see the blue light, and the red light enlightening the whole uh, surface. So we can have a 2D, uh, 2D uh, AOI system that can uh, discriminate good or bad also in this issue. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. And then we go to the next station that shall indicate what we do, can do in automation and in handling. That is the box with the robot inside. Yep. And this robot can take out the bad ones, mm -hmm. give it to a verified workplace, make something with this information and the next person can check is it a fault or not. Is there some rework to do? The software will tell them where the solder iron must be put. And the, the others may go back with the handling system in the elevator, lowering station, yep go back underneath the whole machine and come back to the operator. So this line is more or less uh, closed producing loop. closed loop and zero defect. Right. That's all. Okay. <laughs> closed loop and zero defect. Yeah. Well, of course, it's verifiable, so, it, uh, so I can see where you're coming with that. Um, great. And uh, presumably, you could also use it in an inline configuration if, if, that, was, if that was necessary. But, but, um, we are building up here. Yeah. It's, better, it's yeah. better to do it this way, where it, it comes back to the, to the orig original loading station. Yeah, so we are free, completely free in customizing handling system mm -hmm. through the whole working uh, area. We can feed the machine from here and dismantle far behind that or do it everything in front of the machine. So we're completely free in uh, moving uh, pallets and frames of same width through the whole workshop. And at the end, at the end really cast and catch and make every movement with these. So the, the, uh, just to clarify, the, the, the vision system you have in here is called uh, Power Vision, uh, I think, and uh, uh, this is the one that you won the award for, for yes, using, right. using yeah. the brush and using the combination of the, the brush and the... Two, yeah. Implementing these two in a soldering process, not yeah. stop our business here at the end of the machine. Yeah. No, we do something, we check it and we really t take the consequences, what needs to be done to be, let's say, behind the machine with zero defects. Excellent, yeah. excellent, okay. Well, it's a, it's, a, it's a lovely machine. It's uh, obviously very well built, usual Seho standards, and uh, uh, of course quite innovative with the, the brush and the uh, inspection system. Um, so thank you for showing it to us today, uh, Ronnie, and uh, congratulations. Thank you so much, and you're welcome. <laughs>